Yeah, we got. Well, I mean, I kind of. Okay. Not like mom. Um, just so we can see, like, the camera. Swap to, like, us real quick. I just want to see where we are on the camera. Oh, yeah, no, we got, okay. I got scoot. Yeah, we're good, we're good. I just wanted to double check where we were in, like, frame. Just to make sure we look good. We. Um, do you good? Ready when you are. Uh, yeah, I think we should be good. Hello, everybody, and welcome to week six of Bridgewater's EAFC, uh, ECSE, uh, league season. And, uh, yeah, it's definitely going to be an exciting one. I'm Jacob, joined by Keely once again. And, uh, today we are going to have our very own Alex Heisel against, uh, Dallas Baptist University. Yeah, I mean, this is one that, that we've seen before last semester, so it's going to be kind of a old friend, new, new, new players, you know, sort of thing. Yeah, I was about to say, um, definitely think it's going to be interesting because Dallas Baptist, we haven't seen too, too much about, but we kind of know what to expect when it comes to Alex because um, we've seen him in a lot of previous games. So overall, I'm very curious to see what exactly we're going to see here because um, Alex, uh, from what I remember, did have a pretty close match last time. So I feel like this one might be some kind of kind of the same. Yeah, it's definitely going to depend on, you know, how... How they both play strategy. I feel like I say this every week, but it's rinse and repeat. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just just how the strategies react to each other and everything like that. Yeah, I feel like it's going to be one of those things. Like as we talked about before, just figuring out game one, and then once uh once all that is figured out, then you can just kind of know what your opponent's going to do, or at least get a bit of an idea. As we saw in a lot of the previous games, where we would kind of come up with a strategy, and then either the opponent would figure it out, or we would be able to figure out what the opponent is doing. So. It's just going to be kind of down to chance and whether both players can adapt properly. So I think it's going to be definitely interesting. But um, to my knowledge, I believe we should be getting started uh, very soon. I believe everybody's just kind of picking uh, their teams, getting ready right now, getting everything set up. So definitely think it's going to be interesting. Yeah, it's also interesting like how you form, form, formate your team. Form your team. Formulate. Words. For, Words. Formulate. <laughs> <laughs> We're back after spring break. It's bleh. Um, yeah. Speak, speaking of which, hope, hope everybody watching the stream had a good spring break. Um, oh, yeah. Definitely make sure to take some time to rest because um, definitely was busy for some of us. So, uh, yeah. Overall, um, I'm not fully sure what to expect regarding it, but um, I believe in just a second we will be uh, getting into our game as I believe they're going ahead and getting all the players onto the field. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into game number one. Yeah, it's definitely going to be interesting. So it looks like we've got Alex as Manchester City versus Dallas Baptist University as Real Madrid. Interesting choices. Interesting. Well, I mean, we shouldn't expect Alex to go Man City. Like, that's yeah. that's, that's, his that's, <laughs> that's his team. That's his team. That's his team. Yeah, no, one of the goats. Um, Obviously. Yeah. My dad would hate me for saying that, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah, no, but Real, Real Madrid is really good, too. They're both up in that um, really high chemistry level, really high skill level. They're both got really talented players, so it's going to be how you play their players and how you get them to play 
some of those tighter areas, some of those skill moves to be able to figure out how it goes. And there goes Alex straight ahead with Silva back to Walker. Kind of just trying to find an open spot right there. Through to Foden. Ooh, Foden this, ooh right that was the, a... Yeah, right into the full keeper. Sorry, I didn't mean to... Keeper, didn't mean to... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I do not think they're keeping animals. No, no. the full keeper, but you know, I'm moving on from that. But yeah. that was a very quick breakaway from Alex already getting a little bit of momentum. But as I say that... Uh, Dallas is currently taking a little bit of control here, kicking it pretty far out, and I don't really think he's going to be able to have a lot to follow up, but as soon as I say that, they steal it back. Yeah, but Alex is, has a lot of defenders in that central goal box, so he's going to be able to intercept and block it if they even try to go into middle. So we're going to have a little bit trying to figure out what to do with Holland right now, going out wide. Which, Ooh. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes those one-on-ones can be a win or lose, but you just got to keep it up, keep up that pressure as... Uh, Carvajal on Real Madrid is there, passing it right into Rodri to De Bruyne, over to Grealish, back to Stones. Yeah, it seems like Alex is trying his best to really get the momentum back. He is playing a very good defense. Ooh, head position for a tiny bit, but I think it might have been a little bit of a misplay there. So, ooh, I believe that might have been a uh, offsides was that, I believe? I'm not really sure what that was. Either, it was a bit off. Either offsides or a foul. Yeah, uh, yeah it was a foul, I believe. Yeah. Sometimes fouls are hard to tell whether they're fouls or not. They're, some can, of them can be controversial. I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in real soccer, it's very much a uh, in the eyes of the beholder. Um, but as we see Dallas right now trying to push through, trying to get through past that wall, but Alex is doing really good, making a breakaway with Grealish out wide, trying to find someone to pass through. There's Stones. Stones trying to pass it through to, to other teammates, but just not getting it. One thing I will say, um, Alex, compared to a lot of his previous games, his defense is much, much better. Like, it's much stronger. Able to get a really Ooh. decent breakaway, but no, Militao is going to be able to stop that, sending it over to Mendy as Holland swapping over to Foden as they're trying to play a little bit more defense. Ooh, oh, a little bit gracious. of a tackle there. <laughs> that might be a foul, to my knowledge, so that's a bit unfortunate. Yeah, it's going to be a foul on Alex. It was kind of a weird one, but, you know... Alex, yeah, I understand tackling, but you can't just do that to the man. <laughs> <laughs> this, isn't, this isn't rugby. You this know? is not rugby. The, no. You, you got to take a chill pill. <laughs> well, not too much of a chill pill. We still want him to be aggressive, just oh, not obviously. too aggressive. Right there, nice interception there. Over to Foden, through to Silva. Silva trying to get it through to, I think that was De Bruyne, but just not able to get it as Dallas is trying to make a breakaway. They're going for it, but Ederson stops it right there. Good save from the goalie. And we can see Alex is uh, pretty relieved at that stop there. That was definitely tense. Going to go. Trying to get the header, but no. It's going to get bounced back over to Foden there. And Foden could have potentially have a big breakaway as Dallas's defense is just currently running it back, trying to get all the way back. Yeah. Sending it over to Holland, but no. The header is going to bounce it back over to Vinny Jr. So. Yes. Um, Alex has just got to make sure to keep that defensive wall up as, uh, as Valverde goes to Rodrigo, trying to break through that wall, but not able to think to Diaz, who's able to get it up and through to Rodri. Rodri to De Bruyne, De Bruyne to Grealish. I've noticed Alex taking a bit more of a wider stance, which is good sometimes, but sometimes you also want to try to go through the middle when it's not as open. Ooh, I think that might have been, yeah, I was about to say that's a, uh, a throw-in for uh, Dallas there because I think Alex kicked it like right at the end as it went out. So mm -hmm. Alex, I think, was trying to go for a steal but just miscalculated a little bit. Ooh, very nice good, very tackle, good steal there. Yeah. That was a good one. That was clean. That was all ball. Uh, so they're trying to go through with Foden, but just didn't work out as well. Uh, Alex is, in my opinion, starting to get into a ooh, ooh. In tough position, but I think that might – oh, that's not going to count against him possibly because no. – Yeah, I'm surprised it didn't call that. Um, usually that would be a foul. I was about to um. say, that, that was so interesting. <laughs> like, that would have been a foul, as I think Alex's reaction was just, like, him being pretty, like, annoyed, but – I don't know why they didn't call that as a foul. Ooh, Ooh. bit unfortunate goal there for uh, for Alex as Dallas takes it up to one zero right now. See yeah. if he's celebrating a little bit. So yeah. kind of kind of rubbing salt in the wound, but there's still plenty of time left in the game. Celebrations is what everyone does, but oh, absolutely. Yeah, no, I think that foul was something that you know it could be it could work, but you know it's not anything. I think also because um, Alex got that ball right immediately, so the ref considered it being advantage. So that might have been crucial into why he didn't call it either. 
But yeah, no, uh, Dallas trying to, trying to get another, trying to, you know, just do something. But Alex keeping them, keeping them at bay. Yeah, they're definitely doing their best right now. Has Alex trying to get the defense out of there. Is going to be able to get it over to De Bruyne. Sending it over to Grealish. You're trying to possibly get over uh, something over onto left field, but no, it's not really going to see a lot of benefit there as Dallas immediately goes Ooh. for it again and gets another quick goal. Mm. Yeah, that one was just a nice corner. Just unlucky, yeah, but Alex still has a whole nother half and a bunch more games too to recover from it. So he's just got to figure out how to be able to, you know, swap sides because sometimes switching sides is good too. Um... And just as uh, I think he can hear us. Um, <laughs> ooh, it's going to be a free <laughs> ooh, kick Ooh, it's going to be a free kick. He could potentially find something here if it goes well. But yeah, seems it seems like really... he might have the defense right now. But I'm not fully sure what it's going to end up being. There he goes with De Bruyne. Is that going to be in? No, mm. it is not. Just barely missing it. Yeah, so that's going to be a goal kick for Dallas with Courtois. But it's interesting to see what they do. They side it up. They kick it out good. Uh but Alex able to try to win that back, and he's able to win it back with Silva over to Grealish. Grealish able to keep it. Nice through to Stones. Ooh, this could through be the potential that Alex needs. It's going to go through, yeah. but it's oh. going to barely miss. You see the devastation mm. from Alex. That was, oh, that was unfortunate, especially right at halftime. Yeah. That is devastating. Wow. Yeah, but don't. Don't worry, we still have a whole nother half to go, so... That, definitely, like, that's the thing, like, it does suck in the moment, but at the same time, you still have a whole other half left, and not to mention, his players, are, from what we can see, are still decently good on stamina, so... Yeah, He still has a lot to really work with. Yeah, he's still got a lot of skill, a lot of stuff going up with it. It's just, he's gotta figure out, you know, if he changes people, how does he change people? Looks like he might change a kanji for a Laporte, which is it, which is... Decent, you know, it's a little bit higher skilled, trying to figure out strategies, everything like that, just trying to see if changing it up will make anything better. Mm. From what I can see is that Alex was in a lot of positions, from what I remember, is that a lot of the positions that he was being put in were heavily suffocating. Like, we saw um, Dallas be very aggressive in a lot of the plays, which really, in my opinion, I think put Alex just a little bit pressured. Mm -hmm. which caused him to slip up a little bit. So just you got to keep your cool in a lot of these situations, not let them just really come back like that. So I think that's the thing that Alex is going to have to keep in mind as we go into halftime. Yeah, second half. Or second Here we half, go. I mean. You're good. Um, so, yeah, it's just very much Alex has just got to keep being aggressive, keep having pressure, nice, able to keep it in box, but not able to get that through ball back as Dallas able to intercept it right there from the start. Trying to find someone, able to find someone, but they might have been offsides. Ooh, no, no that's not, not going to count. It. Yeah, I was about to say, not going to count as offsides. I mean, mm -hmm. they didn't count the foul no, earlier yeah. when it seemed like it would be <laughs> one, so who knows what they're thinking. Ooh, Ooh. trying to set it over, but it is going to go back over to Courtois, over in the goalie box. So. Yeah, Alex just want, trying to keep that pressure up and trying to keep it all on the defense back there, just trying to keep them from progressing any further. He's got to take control of this. Take control of the field, which he does right now. Nice through to Oda Ooh. Foden. Ooh, but trying to get through to Haaland, just not working that well. Yeah, I was about to say, could have gotten a lot there, but unfortunately it was going to get stolen back. So that is a bit unfortunate for Alex as Dallas trying to get something going here, but Alex could potentially get the defense up. Yeah, it's very much, he's just got to be aggressive. He's just a nice, nice, ooh, almost had the... But Dallas is trying to push forward, trying to find something, but Alex just keeps being aggressive and keeps being up there. But, ooh, ooh that was a very good save there from Alex. It's like, it's definitely in a bit of a tough spot. It's going to be a corner kick over for Dallas, but Alex is not out yet, and that might be a corner kick or a nope, goal, kick. A goal yeah, kick. Yeah, I was about to say, yeah, I, I figured that was a goal <laughs> kick. <laughs> yeah, 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 right. yeah, I got you, I got you. That's all right. Yeah, sometimes it's hard to tell when they're in close proximities like that Ooh, full it sending out. it yeah sometimes that's good because it gets you a chance but dallas able to intercept it immediately trying to go for that breakaway with any junior but ooh, getting it very close gonna get a pass over to modric but and it is going in that's going to take it up to 3-0 right now in favor of dallas yeah modric is 
Modric's a good player. I just have to say that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, Alex just got to keep control, just got to keep calm, got to play, be aggressive, be up front. He's going for breakaway right now with Foden, trying to find someone in the middle. Nobody really there, trying Ooh. to go through the Holland, but the wall of uh, defenders able to read that like a book. Yeah, that was a bit unfortunate as they potentially saw something that Alex could have done, but does get stolen back, and Dallas is just playing such an aggressive game. Alex has to really be careful because if he's not really able to find his footing with the way Dallas has been playing, it's going to be pretty detrimental to him. So he really has to try and find a lot of opportunities, but I think some of his passes are a little bit off, so that's causing some problems for him. Yeah, but that was a nice deflection from... Oh, uh... <laughs> that is so unfortunate. It bounced off Alex, which that's... is going to give them a corner kick. Yeah. Well, it's better a corner kick than a goal, so... I mean, even then, like, it's still unfortunate because yeah. <laughs> if it didn't bounce off Alex, he could have had a chance to do something there. Yeah. It's very much a, yeah, we just got challenged. We got to keep our goal empty from Dallas players. Nice deflection from the goalie. Able to keep it in as we're clearing it towards midfield. Nice bounce into over to De Bruyne. Out wide to Grealish. Trying to go over to Holland. Not able to. Oh, this is shaping up to be a very tense game. We only have about, I'd say, 20 minutes left in this uh, in the second half. Just closing in quickly. Alex has to try and do something. He's starting to get to a very tight spot as he tries to play the defense. But no, Dallas is playing it so strong. Ooh, but nice. Alex is going to be able to take it back, sending it over to De Bruyne as Dallas is scrambling the defense a little bit. But at the same time, they are able to play it so well that they just do not give Alex any room to breathe. They're just taking it at every single opportunity. That might have been. That's a foul, I yeah. was about to say, I didn't know if that was a foul or an offsides there, but... <sighs> They Does did, like, it... a little passy-pass, but that's okay. This passy-pass was approved. In this situation, like, that's kind Ooh, of all you need. Nice. Ooh, going for a Goodness big gracious. shot, but yeah. unfortunately not going to get much. I feel like probably could have had something there if he was able to get the pass over, mm -hmm. um, get that little bit of a clear, um, yeah. but unfortunately not really able to get a whole lot there. As Ooh, Alex, the defense is pretty good right now. Yeah, their defense is being really good, keeping that wall nice and formed. They just got to keep working on making it – even more tighter than it already is, you know. Sometimes it's easier to get those breakaways, but Oof. right now Dallas just being majorly aggressive, having like three on one right there. But that's Alex the thing. Trying to stop Dallas from winning this ball right now, trying to keep them out from that goal box area. The thing that is causing Alex a lot of problems right now is just the absolute oppressiveness of Dallas. Dallas is playing so aggressive, really cutting off a lot of the opportunities that Alex might have, which is really starting to put a little bit of a damper on things when it comes to Alex trying to get any sort of aggression here. Yeah. Yeah, it's very much a... Uh, he's just got to be as aggressive as them. But nice deflection from the goalie. Nice clear out. Nice header over to De Bruyne, trying to keep it in. He's able to keep it over down to Foden, just too hard of a touch. Alex trying to get something here, trying to stop it or get an interception, but no, it's not really going to be able to do much. At this point, Dallas could potentially stall or try and go for, an, for another goal to try and expand the lead. Going to send it over, but Alex is going to be able to take it back, sending it over to Holland. Holland trying, yeah, sorry, Holland trying to break away there, but not being able to. This defense has been really tight and really good but there we go Grealish breaking away Grealish going down going in going going is it going to be able to get oh, the pass no it the good idea is a good idea but just too many defenders in the box at that moment as Dallas now trying to make a counter attack with it with their own breakaway right now Alex just has to respond quickly enough nice Able to clear it out to Grealish over to Silva, but not able to win that ball. Yeah, this is definitely starting to put a little bit of a uh, tight spot for Alex right now. Has to try and get it out of the goalie box, but with the time ticking down, only 30 seconds left. Taking down to about a minute, it is going to be one minute of extra time. But I don't really think Alex is going to be able to do much here. There's only so much he can do as Dallas does take it back. He's probably going to get a kick, and that is going to secure game one. For Dallas Baptist. Mm. Yeah, that was... It was a rough first game, but, you know, there's a lot to learn. There's a lot to improve on. There's a lot he can work on for the next game, and I'm excited to see what happens next.
Yeah, overall, Alex did have a lot of good opportunities, but I feel like with the way, just how oppressive that uh, Dallas was playing, it was causing them so many problems. And I feel like that was the thing that was really starting to kind of wear on him. I think he started getting a little bit frustrated, which caused him to kind of lose a lot of um, opportunities. So I feel like just trying to keep his cool and really make sure that um, his defense is well. Uh, well, you got to make sure your defense is well in a machine. You can't just, yeah. <laughs> you, you got to make sure all the cogs are moving in the same direction and mm -hmm. all are moving in tandem so the machine can work. So Alex can still come back though. He yeah. still has a little bit, of, he still has a little bit of leeway. Oh yeah, definitely. Like, I just think his main thing is that he needs to respond with a little bit more aggressiveness and try to get out of those situations where he's three on one instantly in like midfield. I think... Those sorts of situations, you would probably want to try to like swap sides, you know? And by doing that, you're moving everyone to a different way to where you can make a quick breakaway because they're more focused on one half. They're kind of all grouped there, but then you can spread them out and quickly, you know, get the goal. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's a thing. Um, I, I wonder what we might actually see Alex change up going into the second game. Um, because... Even though it was a bit of a commanding lead over from Dallas, Alex was still fighting pr uh, pretty much tooth and nail throughout that entire thing. And like, despite it being 3-0, Alex was still holding it off pretty well, preventing a lot of good opportunities. But I think ultimately in the end, you started to lose that uh, um, a decent amount of momentum, mm -hmm. which unfortunately led to um, the loss. But overall, I think he can definitely do a lot to bring it back. So I feel I, I feel like we got hope in him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, there's definitely hope. There's always hope. Um. I just think that there's stuff that he learned now. He knows how Dallas is going to be really aggressive, really up front, and Alex just needs to respond to that. And we're getting ready to go to our next game soon, aren't we? Yeah, I believe so. I believe they're uh, going to go ahead and be getting ready. They're getting all their stuff set up. Yeah. So, as we can see here, Alex getting his team prepared. So, I feel like he's uh, probably going to do... I, I don't know if he'll probably swap something up. He might go for something a little unorthodox, but... I feel like overall, Alex could definitely do a lot here. Yeah, and also depends, you know, does he go more defensive because of the way that uh, Dallas has been up front and aggressive, you know, or does he stick to the way he was before, which it looks like he's going with more of a central defending mid, which is interesting compared to um, a central attacking mid. So that means he's got more people down in defense than having more people up in offense because he needs that defense to be strong and to be good for – blocking all of Dallas's attempts of goal. I was about to say, it kind of makes sense, though. Like, mm -hmm. you, you know, you see your enemy going for a pretty aggressive comp. You got to try and go for something a little bit more defensive. And you got to try and get the formation correct because, you know, you can't have a lot of good offense. But at the same time, if you don't really have a lot of defense that's really able to hold it off, it's not really going to do well. So you got to just kind of see what you can do to really make sure he fends it off. So... Yeah, it's very much a, uh, it's a, it's a balance. Everything has to be balanced perfectly, um, which is a tough thing to really do, but it really depends on how each team responds, how each team plays, how each player plays, everything like that. So I think it's good that he's making this change now to be able to respond to how Dallas played so aggressive earlier. Yeah, I feel like that was the thing, is that with the way that Dallas was playing, it was definitely causing him uh, a lot of problems. So I think now that he's kind of figured it out, I feel like he might be able to uh, kind of bring it back and just really make a good counter for it. So I think we are going to be uh, getting into the game very soon as we see our players walking out. So let's get let's get hype. Let's see what exactly Alex is going to bring for the game. Yeah, it's definitely going to be interesting to see if he's – going to take a more aggressive stand or if he's just going to try to keep that defense keep that wall stable and keep it very much a uh, a wall you know don't come through i was about to say with what we saw alex was already getting pretty aggressive there right at the start which makes sense you don't want to give your opponent any room to really get any momentum mm -hmm. you want to try and just suffocate them like they did to you and just really great um a lot of opportunities. Nice. That was an insanely good uh, pass and intercept there over from Alex, but it is going to send it over to Corta, sending it over to Bellingham. But Alex is going to be able to take it back. De Bruyne is going to be able to send it over to Foden. They have so much opportunities. And even though it's getting caught, Alex's offense is just so strong right now. Yeah, they're definitely a lot more better. There's Holland trying to go for a shot, but defense was able to block it as they're able to now try to make their counterattack right now with Valverde going out wide trying to find people to pass it through, but no, right into the hands of Alex there with De Bruyne going up, 
trying to go through the hall on just a little too much touch there. Yeah, it seems like he's trying to find something right now. And um, I was going to say something. Uh, I want to know your thoughts on this. With how Dallas is sometimes going pretty wide, do you think Alex should potentially have more players defending a lot of the wides, a lot of the wide shots? Or what do you think should be happening there? Could it, should he just kind of keep going with the style that he's been doing? Because as we can see here, it's going oh, really effective. Sending it over to Borna. Could potentially get Whoa. something here, but no, Courtois is going to be able to defend it. Mm. Sending it over to Vinny Jr. as Rodri. Over from Alex is going to be able to play it. Oh, that might be a foul on yeah, the side good. of Dallas there. Yeah, that was a foul there. That was, yeah, that wasn't that good. But that was, yeah, that was a yellow card. That yeah. Was, that was intense. Uh, Grealish trying to find someone to go through the Foden. Ooh, getting trying to go for a shot, but it was just blocked by the wall of defenders. Um, to answer your question, I guess it depends because Dallas, while they go out wide, it's hard to try to get them to defend wide without leaving holes for other offensive players to go through. Oh, for so, sure. So it might be a um, like a weird hybrid, you know? Have some, oh, yeah. have some go out wide, have some stay in, towards the middle, so that way if anyone does try a breakaway in the middle, like we've seen them try to do, it's very much a, uh, I'm ready, I'm prepared, I'm able to be prepared for any situation right now sort of deal. Yeah. As, Alex staying up front, aggressive of Holland right there, just trying to get the ball back, trying to stop Dallas from making any advancements. I mean, with the way that Dallas played last game, you gotta you gotta kind of like play the way that they played. They've played a hyper aggressive, Whoa, like goodness, suffocating, gracious. suffocating game. You gotta try and play it back. And Alex with the phenomenal defense there. Yeah, what a stop from the goalkeeper there. That was crazy. It's Alex going down Ooh, with Walker. Ooh, this could be the big breakaway that he needs. Sending it down with Walker. Sending it wide. Sending it over to Holland. Going to be able to get oh. the header, but no, it just barely misses. But that is going to be, I believe, a corner kick for Alex. So that is a really good spot. Yeah, and it's going to be an actual corner kick. Ooh, this as could we're going be potentially. In. Oh, the header going to be able to get it. But he's going to send it right back over to Alex. Ooh. But no, Courtois is going to be able to catch it. Yeah, that was – Alex is having way more shots on goal than I think he had last game, which is very, very good. That, that, that Did you just see that tackle from Alex there? I think immediately that was catching, fair. <laughs> I was about to say, immediately catching that out, like, as it get passes. Sending it over to Come Holland, on. but Ooh. no, Courtois is going to be able to defend it. But Alex is creating so much pressure right now that it is just being so annoying for Dallas to even try and do anything. Yeah, he's definitely taking it up a notch, and that's a good scenario in this case because he is definitely trying to keep them all, trying to keep this Ooh. goalless or keep Ooh, them Ooh, that was a nice. good steal there Ooh. from Alex. Yeah, he's just he's trying to keep them all. He's trying to keep Dallas from scoring so that way he can make a comeback, which he's going to try to do right now with a breakaway from Grealish going out wide. Passing it through to Holland. Holland. Ooh, the header gonna send it back. There. Sending it over to Vinny Jr. as Walker. Gonna have to play a little bit back. As Alex's defense is currently running it back right now, trying to get over to their defensive line and really prevent Laporte from uh I mean not ooh. Laporte, uh Rodrigo from doing anything, but ooh, that is gonna be a stop. I believe that That looks like a penalty. No, that, no, no that's gonna goal. be a goal kick. Oh, uh, because I think Someone fell on the goalie or something. Uh, yeah. I think that's what actually what happened from what I saw. It was like very quick because I was trying to focus on something else, but I mm -hmm. think I did see uh, one of them fall on the goalie. Yeah. Fall on the goalie. Yeah, this game has been aggressive. It's been very much a, a feisty game, um, but it's been a lot of fun to try to figure out, okay, how are they going to respond with it? Nice through ball, nice through to Grealish. <sighs> Grealish, nice turn Those as he's passes. backing away. Yeah, he's being really consistent. Sending it over to Holland. Going to be able to try and get it. Is it going to be able to get Ooh, it? No, it's going to bounce off. Mm. And it's going to get caught by Courtois. Yeah. But, but at the same time, can I just say, Alex's play style is so aggressive right now. Like, compared to how um, Dallas was playing... Alex is basically taking their play style and turning it up to an 11. Yeah, he is definitely being up there as he takes Diaz right now, clearing it out over to Foden. Foden able to turn it and go a little bit wide, trying to just find someone right now to pass it down to <laughs> down into Holland right now, who's trying to get it through to De Bruyne, just a little bit too much of a touch, but that's all right. He's trying to keep the ball as far away from his goal as possible. If he can keep this scoreless... That would be a wonderful thing for him. That would give him that boost of confidence saying, hey, I can handle you. You can't handle me. Ooh, this is a bit of a tight position. Oh, oh that was I... so unfortunate. Yeah. But it's all, 
It's all right. He'll be able. He can recover. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah, he still has plenty of time. He has three minutes left in this half, depending on how much added time is left. Might be hopefully two minutes, which gives him some more opportunities. Ooh, Grealish playing it very well. Yeah. Kind of just trying to get something there, but no, it is going to get stolen back by Rodrigo there. But stolen back by... Ooh, Grealish that's... taking it back. Yeah. Uh, able to go out wide, trying to find someone. Over to Silva. Silva! Ooh, Ooh going to be caught up by Courtois. Courtois saved it. And still inside, there. That so that'll be that half. But Alex can definitely. That was a banger of a first half right there. I'm sure. I'm sure if he keeps that up for a second half, he will break that no, wall. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, in my opinion, because of how aggressive that um, Dallas was playing, I think it was starting to put Alex in a bit of a chokehold, which really started suffocating a lot of his opportunities. And I feel like as long as Alex is able to play that like that and just keep that aggressiveness going, he can absolutely run away with it. Yeah, he's just got to be up front, be aggressive, try to get those breakaways when he can while also trying to make sure Dallas doesn't win the ball back. Oof. Just be very tight right now. Nice block off of Alex's defense there. Nice through to, to Grealish. Grealish going out wide, going for that breakaway. He's going, but there's no one heading towards the middle fast enough for him to do anything right now, so he's going to take a little bit of time. Nice through Ooh, gonna to Silva. Going to send it over. Going to possibly go in, but no, it's going to bounce off the goalie. Courtois going to be able to catch it. Yeah. Unfortunate for Alex, but his aggression is still pretty heavy, so he can play a, to his advantage pretty decently right now. Yeah, it's definitely a, uh, he's got to keep that aggression Ooh, nice. Ooh, going to be able to take it wide. Yeah, he's just got to keep going through. Oh, trying to get through to Holland, but it's able to go into Dallas's hands right now. I was about to say, I think that might have been a little bit of a miscalculation when it came to that kick. So, but unfortunate for Alex, but it is, he does still have a slight bit of an advantage with the way that his defense was playing and mm -hmm. also the amount of aggression that he has. Yes, he's going right back through to Grealish, trying to get it through the Holland, not working, but getting it right back anyways. Getting it through to Ooh, Stones. This could be potentially what it needs. Stone over to Holland, no, but no, Courtois going to be able to get it. Courtois getting back, oh. but no one's going to bounce off of Militao there and send it back over into midfield. Oh, my goodness gracious. Yeah, that was that was insane. I mean, Holland tried to get it, then Stones tried to get it, but it looks like they're calling something. I, I guess Ooh, that, was, I think that was a, I think that was a foul, maybe? Either a foul or offside. Because I saw, I think I saw one of them raise a card, um, potentially, or a like flag. raise something, yeah. raise a flag. So that might have been a foul. Well, it depends on how they raise the flag. If they like wiggle it a little, shake it, then it's a foul. If they I just hold um, it up, then it's an offside. It, yeah. it might. I think it might have been an offside because I think they did just hold it up. But anyways. <laughs> yeah, it's bad when I know too many details about this stuff. But I yeah. mean, not really. That's like <laughs> that's kind of the whole point of being a ca of being a caster. So yeah, yeah, it's just yeah. But yeah, no, if, if it was offsides, that would have probably made sense considering Ooh. how aggressive that play was. But as he goes up to Silva, over to Grealish. Grealish trying to go through to Stones, just trying to get those passes through. But Dallas able to make that breakaway right now with, with Alex's defense being so little, trying to just go through it. Ooh, that was unfortunate there. I think Alex tried to get the defense, but he just barely missed, which has been unfortunate there. Yeah, it was just an unlucky thing. He's just got to keep that wall tight and um, seem to be aggressive. He's just got to keep that storm a-going. But to say in this, you got to kind of be like a... Choo-choo train. Like a choo-choo train. I was going to reference uh, I was gonna reference uh, Mulan by Disney. Uh, <laughs> uh, be as, uh, strong, as strong as a great typhoon oh, like, in this situation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's new. Uh, yeah, nerd, nerd stuff, you know, but it, that that's kind of yeah. what. Oh, is Alex able fun. to get it back? Keeping it with De Bruyne going Ooh. through. Ooh. Oh, the defense right at the last second there for Dallas. Mm. Yeah, it's those are hard to hard to do, but Alex able to get it back from with Grealish, trying to pass through to De Bruyne, but intercepted by the defense. But Alex able to get it back, going to Foden, trying to make some plays here, but Dallas is just continuing to just intercept that ball and trying to get it able to pass it back to Ederson. Ederson's trying to clear it out. They're trying to get it out from that danger zone right now as Grealish going out wide, trying to just do something here with Diaz and Laporte. Ooh, he tried to get something going there, but unfortunately going to get the possession back to Dallas there. But Alex does have possession just a tiny bit. The header going to send nice. it over to Grealish right now. Grealish Tr trying to get it through to Holland, but it just didn't work that well. 
It's just constantly being stopped at every opportunity, which is causing a lot of problems. Yeah. Loading, trying to do something here, but it's able to go through five. I don't know. It, it went bouncy, bouncy, bounce over to Walker. Walker Ooh, going sending with it that out wide. Could potentially send it back into mid. It has to be so careful with Mendy playing the defense right now. There we sending go. it over to De Bruyne, but no, no. it's not going to be able to find much. And Dallas sends it back over with Rodrigo just taking it and just sending it over to the goalie box. Yep. Ederson Fifth. able to clear that out. Trying to get it to Holland, trying to get it to someone with Rodri right now. Going Ooh, over to Silva. Could. Silva out wide to Grealish. Grealish going through. Just not able to read that. The defenders right in front of them. But Alex trying to stop um, trying to stop Dallas from doing anything. That's going to be an offsides right there. Yeah, that's going to be an offsides, which is uh, unfortunate for Dallas, but lucky for uh, Alex because he could potentially find something right now. Yeah. As he goes with a breakaway with Grealish right now, trying to get in the middle. Ooh. Just too many people in that box, too many defenders able to read that play. I was about to say, they're constantly going for the headers, which is just causing a lot of problems at that point. Yeah, sometimes heading is fun, but not too much. Ooh, and that's going to be a foul on uh, on Alex there. So Dallas is going to get oh, a chance of a free kick. Yeah, But they're able to... Ooh, ooh, the header going to go in yeah. for Dallas there. Looks like he's making a substitution. Alex is Alvarez, I think, for either Grealish or Foden. I'm not 100% sure yet. Uh, I'm not fully sure. I didn't see who it was exactly. But we will see in just a second who they're going to be substituting. Yeah, that was a nice... It was just a nice header off of that. Set-piece ones can be cruel in times like that. It's going to yeah. be for Foden. Ooh, yeah, it's going to be Foden. So. Yeah, fresh feet sometimes work the best. And um, you kind of need some fresh feet in a time like this where you just want to get any sort of possible goal to come back from this i was about to say with how tight this game has been it's definitely starting to cause a lot of problems for alex he has to try and find a breakaway gonna try and send it out wide with grealish right there but carvajal is just really playing that defense but oh that might actually be a thrust yes that is going to be a throw in for alex there mm -hmm. Alex trying to make moves right now Holland, Ooh, Holland gonna to be able to get it could potentially go in but no the defense so strong there, but we are going to have a corner kick there for Alex, which... Yep, Silva. Over to Holland. Bouncing Ooh, that could off have the goalie. No, that's going to miss so close. Could oh, potentially find something, but no. Rodri. It's going to send it back oh, over to the corner, but no. Oh, able to save it. He's kept He's it He's got to save it. Could potentially find something, but no. What is happening? Oh, my goodness gracious. That was... That... You, you couldn't make that up. That was insane. Dallas now trying to go over a breakaway. Um... Alex just trying to keep that pressure. He had so much good attempt right there. Alex able to get it back, kicking it all the way down to De Bruyne. De Bruyne trying to get it through to Haaland, just not winning that ball. Yeah, I think this game is slowly approaching the end. Two minutes left of at a time. Yeah, Alex, Alex trying, trying to, to find something, but I don't know if it's really going to be able to find a lot. Time is slowly ticking down. Two minutes have passed. Alex trying to go for something. He could potentially find it. Grealish going to try and go for it. Not going to really find much as it is stolen back. It's going to get kicked away. And that's, and that's going to be, seal yeah. the game. Number two and yeah. the victory for Dallas there. Mm, yeah. I think both times Alex was really responsive to the matches. Um, but he was very much. I think sometimes that pressure can just be too much and it can lead to... Panic, really, but panicking is sometimes good, sometimes, eh, you know, I mean, it's hard to really gauge stuff when you're panicking. I mean, even then, with the way that it was, Alex definitely adapted in a lot of ways. His aggression, like, at the mm -hmm. start of that game was absolutely insane, in my opinion. Like, he was just constantly applying so much pressure that it was really causing a lot of problems, I, I feel, for Dallas, but... Ultimately, Dallas was just able to really take it and um, ultimately very well played from both sides. But uh, mm -hmm. unfortunate loss for Alex um, as Dallas takes that uh, two to zero. So, yeah, I mean, Alex was able to bounce back of a newer strategy in that second game, try to be up front, try to be aggressive. I just think that sometimes, you know, it can get to you. <laughs> I was about to say, that's just the thing about competing. Like, the pressure will always be there. You never know how it's going to go. Um, but I believe with that, uh, we might actually be calling it here for stream. Um, so uh, we will not be having an interview tonight. But uh, we thank you guys so much again for watching. Um, but make sure to stay tuned for uh, this coming Wednesday for our upcoming Rocket League match for Week 6. Um, so, yeah, I've been Jacob. And I'm Keely.